And we're learning more tonight about the man who died while being detained by police. Fox 59's Jesse Wells spent the day at the scene and shares what police are saying. Police were first called to this home at the end of this wooded driveway around 3.20 in the morning on Monday. The man who lives inside told officers his son was, quote, having a psychosis. What happened next leading up to the man's death remains under investigation. Responding to a disturbance at this home on Indy's northeast side, IMPD officers claim they found 39-year-old Herman Whitfield III naked, sweating, and bleeding from the mouth inside the house along with his parents. Police say they began to talk to Whitfield but lost sight of him several times as he moved around the home. After around 10 minutes of negotiating with Whitfield, police insist he moved quickly towards an officer who responded by deploying a taser. The officer shocked Whitfield twice for five seconds while police say he continued to resist. Police reports describe Whitfield as a large man, six foot two, weighing 280 pounds. Because of his size, officers placed him in two linked handcuffs while face down. At that point, medics were called inside the home and asked Whitfield to roll over. When he didn't respond, the medics quickly realized the man didn't have a pulse, uncuffed him, and began CPR. Whitfield died after being rushed to the hospital. Both police and neighbors didn't want to talk about the case on camera. Multiple officers were wearing body-worn cameras, which were activated. We are waiting to see if police will release that video. The officers involved have been placed on routine administrative leave while the case is investigated. The Civilian Use of Force Review Board will also review the case once the internal investigation is complete. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News.